Hi everyone, today I will make a restaurant version or vegan version of simple but delicious Korean stir fried noodle dish called japchae in Korean. Prepare two big pots of water to cook the noodles and the spinach. You need more water for the noodles than the spinach. While the water is heating, let's prepare the noodles and the vegetable ingredients. At first, you will need half pounds of cellophane noodles. You can find them in a Korean or Asian grocery store or online. Obtain two dried shiitake mushrooms and soak them in hot water for a few minutes. Some people like me might not like the flavor of dried shiitake mushrooms. It is totally optional so you can skip them. I just added them in this recipe to show you how people in Korea make this vegan version japchae. You will also need about half pounds of spinach. Remove any bad part and wash it good. Julienne 1 and half cups of onions. Julienne 1 cup of carrot. Cut 1 cup of yellow and red sweet peppers into thin strips. By now, the mushrooms will have softened. Remove the leaf stems and cut them into thin slices. Put the prepared noodles into one pot and cook for 7 minutes on medium-high. Put the spinach into the other one and cook for 30 seconds on medium-high. If your spinach is big, you can cook it for a minute. When the spinach is done cooking, quickly drain the hot water and rinse it in cold water. Squeeze out the water gently from the spinach. If the leaves are too big, cut them into smaller pieces. Season the cooked spinach with 2 pinches of salt and set it aside. Check your noodles. The noodles will be soft and chewy in 7 to 8 minutes. Drain out the hot water and rinse the noodles in cold water several times. To remove the extra starch from the noodles, wash them by rubbing the noodles as you rinse them. This is 1 tea for glassy japchae. To make the sauce, add 5 tablespoons of soy sauce, 5 tablespoons of dark brown sugar, and 3 tablespoons of cooking oil in a non-stick pan. Mix it well. This process is another secret tip for making glassy japchae like restaurant. Once the sauce starts to boil, add the noodles and fry for about 3 minutes or until the sauce has almost disappeared on medium-high. Meanwhile, let's fry the vegetable ingredients. First, add about half teaspoon of cooking oil in a heated pan and add the onion with 2 pinches of salt. Fry quickly for about 2 minutes on medium-high. Remove the cooked onions and fry the next vegetable in the same pan using the same method. Fry the carrot with a quarter teaspoon of cooking oil and 1 pinch of salt for about 1 minute. Then fry the sweet peppers with a quarter teaspoon of cooking oil and 1 pinch of salt for about 1 minute. If you want to add shiitake mushrooms, Fry them last with a quarter teaspoon of cooking oil and one pinch of salt for about two minutes. Now your noodles should be ready for the vegetables. Add all the fried vegetables to the pan. And then add one tablespoon of minced garlic and one eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Fry for about two minutes and then turn off the heat. For the final touch, season the japchae with a half tablespoon of sesame oil. This is my special answer for Linda. Uh, if you don't want the sesame oil, you can skip it. Sesame oil is a very important flavor for japchae, but I already made this recipe without using it for my husband. And it was still very delicious, so if you don't have a sesame oil or don't like it, it's okay to skip it. Then sprinkle 1 tablespoon of sesame seed on top before serving. This dish looks very colorful and delicious. It is amazing to see that it can be still flavorful even without any seasoned meat in it. So this recipe can be really good for vegans or vegetarians. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.
Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.